Well, happy September 1st. It's Sunday the 1st and um, we're back. Um, we were out of town last weekend and we had, uh, unfortunately, we had a, a, a funeral we had to attend yesterday. So uh, we weren't able to get up here, but we are here today. And uh, just going to start off with uh, these uh, sensors here. The fuel pressure, oil pressure, manifold pressure, and the fuel, it's back there, the red cube uh, fuel flow sensor. Uh, I'm going to put the connectors on that and I've got picked up some Deutsch, uh, some flat three pin Deutsch connectors for that. So we'll uh, get started on that and um, I don't I can't think of anything else right off the top of my head that I need to chat about right now. So we'll get going on that and see what else we get to today. So a quick shout out here to uh, my buddy that was here uh, that had helped us uh, put the wings on a couple weeks ago. Um, he just landed his RV-12 at uh, Kitty Hawk. So it's a big, uh, big moment for him. Uh, super proud he was able to get out there and uh, make that connection to Wright Brothers. Uh, landed at First Flight Airport uh, just now. So congratulations, Dennis. Uh, glad you made it out there and uh, looking forward to seeing you back here on your way back home. All right, got our Deutsch connectors on. Uh, fuel flow, uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure, and manifold pressure. Uh, I've got those installed. I decided not to trim these back, which is so we're just gonna we just looped them up and put a cushion, a cushion zip tie on these for there. And uh, the next kind of question is, how long do I make these? wires. Uh, we've got quite a bit, quite a bit of wire here. Um, so I'm thinking, what we're thinking is possibly just doing a kind of a loop here. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a loop. I didn't want to make them super tight. And then maybe we'll cushion clamp it like to here or somewhere so that it's, uh, so that it's well mounted, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, we're looking up some stuff on Builder's Log to see if there's kind of a consensus, consensus on how that goes. But this is where we're at right now and yep, see, uh, see what else we get. Well, fall is definitely here. Um, it's over 55 degrees out here today, and um, but it's still a nice day. And 
Uh, oh yeah. So oh, you can't see it. Uh, I had to put my I had to put my jacket on today. And um, look, there's a there's a Cape Air Cessna 402. Uh, I was talking to someone from Cape Air, and uh, sounds like they're having all kinds of issues with those new airplanes they got. If any of you are familiar with Cape Air. Uh, they got some Technam um, airplanes, and sounds like things aren't going so good with them. So they are getting the Cessna 402s back up here uh, in Montana for the winter, I guess. They're a much better winter airplane, but anyways. And, oh, another little bit of trivia. Uh, I used to work for an airline that flew 402s, and that was actually, the, I liked 402s. Pretty, uh, pretty decent little airplane. Okay, we are finished up for the day here, and we did get this. I uh, got the pressure sensors all connected in here, and we've got everything. Uh, we've got the, the harness, the, the bundle, I guess, uh, routed down here. Oh, my focus is being funny. Hang on. Okay, we ended up routing everything down. This was uh, where we got to last time, and we just brought all of these uh, sensor wire wires down through this clamp here, this uh, cushion clamp. And uh, through here, did another cushion clamp on this. And then we did the three pin Deutsch connectors on all of these. I used a Patey cushion zip tie uh, on this, this bundle here. I don't know, initially I was, I thought about trimming this all back um, and then putting the connectors on, but man, if we ever have to adjust anything or move anything around in here, um, I didn't want to cut all this wire off. I think better yet would be if you could get the connectors. I looked into this. Uh, it's got a different style. The pins on the inside are a little bit different. If I could get the female pins for these connectors, you could uh, you could just wire these directly into that that uh, connector there. But alas, it's not. So I've uh, got this here. Just like I said, we bundled that. Everything is all stood off from the frame. Um, we're stood off here. Everything's solid. I mean, it does obviously. It moves around. It's got to have a little flexibility in there. But uh, we've got fuel pressure, um, oil pressure, manifold pressure, and we've got fuel flow coming from the red cube here. We had to do that just a little bit different there. CHT EGT probe wires are coming down. We loop them back down around through here, and they're coming down here. We haven't got started on that yet. But that's uh, what we got done for today. Oh, also have the oil temperature uh, wire here, and that connects up to, uh, comes right out of the back of the, right down there, comes out of the back of the uh, oil filter housing. So anyway, uh, that's uh, what we got done for today. And uh, everybody, hope you have a good evening. And, oh, I think we're going to be doing some antenna. Uh, we're going to be getting the antenna stuff put in um, uh, this week. So if we do, I'll shoot a little video of that. I, I'll put it on next uh, weekend's video. So anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. Have a good evening, and that's it for now.